everybody. Jackie from Sunflowers and Butterflies, back on your screen again. <laughs> um, look, today I want to share with you uh, one of our pillars, a very important pillar, a bit of an overarching pillar of all the others, and it's the pillar that I call self-awareness. Now, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, self-awareness, self so it is what it says it is. It's being more aware and more conscious is another word that you could use about your thoughts, your actions, your communication, your beliefs. It's just being more aware of you in the world rather than unfortunately running on autopilot like we do with not even knowing what we thought, what we did, what our actions were. They become unconscious and what I said to my kids, you know, what I did at work. It's just that, that we lose that self-awareness because we're very busy and I understand that that's that's not changing um, we just need tools that teach us how to be more self-aware in a busy world because it's very very possible um, so it's all about uh, and I love this this is the part that just mm, just lights me up it's all about taking back ownership of your life so if you look at it like that it's a little bit less woohoo it's just taking back ownership of your thoughts, your actions, what you want to be, how you want to be perceived in the world. Because as soon as you're more aware of what you're doing, you can actually pick and choose. Is that really how I want to behave or what I want to say? Or can I give it a pause? That's beautiful. Can I have a conscious pause before I actually react or do something that is very unconscious? Like driving a car, we don't even think about changing gears or whatever your reactions to family, friends or work or become just triggered and unconscious. So self-awareness brings you back to owning that and choosing when and if you ever want to be triggered by anything. My advice is try and not be triggered by anything and have very little attachment to everything. And then, well, not people and, you know, but, but to outcomes and then, there's not so much disharmony. There's not so much to be annoyed about or upset about. Um, you know, that's what we work towards anyway. So self-awareness is definitely about slowing down. And that can just be internally, right? We, we're busy. I remember a beautiful kinesiologist I worked with saying to me once, it's okay to be, you can be rushed without, no, you can be busy without being rushed. Sorry. So you can be busy without feeling rushed. So what he was saying was self-awareness. You can actually still be a busy person without feeling that internal rush, rush, rush and stress, stress, stress. Because once again, that's feeding our body with, with adrenaline, cortisol, with chemicals that it will be actually become addicted to. And that is when the program runs you because your body wants those chemicals because that's how you've lived. Okay. So it's a real loop-de-doop in that sense of things, but it's about being more, more grounded for sure. Uh, where am I? Like, just remember what I'm doing. I'm just on a planet that's spinning around. Um, you know, we we just we get so involved in things and we lose our self awareness. So, you know, I think sometimes there was a beautiful uh, man, Michael Singer, who I read a book, and he said, you know, they can't even find water on other planets. They can't even find water on other planets. And here we are where it falls from the sky. We've got waterfalls. Like that's where we are. We're not in our boss's head or in that, um, you know, document or in our child's problem or we're just, mm, just grounded. So I, I give you tools to do all of this. It sounds lovely. I know it. For those of you that are like, yeah, when, how? There's ways, there's tools. I did it. I lived in internal stress for my whole life and suffered greatly um, through physical illness and came out the other side using all of these tools. So no self-awareness, that leads on to, to my, my final point, is that not having a lot of self-awareness actually creates a lot of suffering in this world because we, without self-awareness, you become a victim very easily of the world. You're a victim in every circumstance. That happened to me. That person did that to me. That person's behind me, driving close, tailgating. You know, everything becomes about you, about me. It's happening to me as a, as a victim of the world, as opposed to self-awareness is like things are just happening. The world is just happening. Whether you're in it or not, that thing's probably still going to happen. So 
it's that detachment I spoke about where you just go inward and you just kind of choose to not be so attached to these things that you used to be a victim of. Um, a lot of the time it's just us deciding if something's good or bad. It, the world doesn't decide that, it just, it just happens. Um, so self-awareness pretty much rewrites the programs. So those programs I've spoken about in belief. Self-awareness is part of rewriting those programs and becoming whoever, whomever you actually want to be. You can get that, you can visualize who you really want to be. And we can use self-awareness and a whole bunch of other tools to get you exactly to where you want to be. So the way I do that is through using pretty much all the skills that you'll see on my website. Um, spiritual mentoring is one of them because I think there is a very big spiritual component to self-awareness. Um, but if that turns you off a bit, we can take it or leave it. I just feel that that's part of um, you know the healing. And meditation, again, is important because slowing down Focusing on one thing, whether it's your thoughts, your breath, whatever, is really critical and key to becoming more self-aware because you get to hear your thoughts and see what's coming in. Um, and belief changes and lifestyle changes all fall into this one as well. So wonderful. Thank you. I'm done. Thank you for listening. And as I've said, if you've got questions, um, email me, call me. If you want to book a session, obviously go through my website or pick up the phone. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.